All right, YouTubers, so I promised that I would show you how to add multiple hard drives to your Dell desktop. This is the Inspiron 3670. Same type of thing will work for the uh, Bostro. Um, I ordered a uh, basically a um, SATA splitter, SATA power splitter, that is, and uh, this board for the 3670 will support up to four uh, SATA connections. One of those will be your uh, DVD player and the other three could be hard drives. So I've actually went ahead and put the SATA cables in um, knowing that this thing was here and uh, we've already pre-cut the box so let's go ahead and get it open and hey it's right on top of the other stuff word. Get that out of the way. All right so this is from StarTech. Now um, after thinking about this, um, I realized I may have bought the wrong thing or I need to buy some other stuff. Um, so this is possibly not the perfect fit for this, but let's go ahead and get this open. All right. So there is our connector and hopefully this Samsung key cell phone will, uh, somewhat stay in focus. Usually I have one of my good cameras with me, uh, but I wanted to get this up. So this is the side that will connect to an existing cable, and you see we have the ability, um, basically we're adding um, three um, SATA uh, power supplies, because um, this first one is basically, uh, you know, for the original device. Um, now, negatives to this, there's only one that's really 90 degrees. And see, this is what I was talking about. You need, basically you need your um, your cables to come in at 90 degrees, but not have both of them coming in at 90 degrees. So, um, I will have a link down below for a cable that I think will work better than this situation. But, uh, um... I do have some other adapters that I could use with this and downsizing the hard drive and possibly drilling some holes will allow this to work um, or coming up with some kind of mounting plate. Um, but let me go ahead and I'm going to take this and just so you know what I'm going to do, um, I already went in here and disconnected the SATA cable, but SATA power cable. Um, so we have, we have this exact existing SATA power cable, which would have went into that hard drive. I've already added a hard drive there. And just so you can see that it works, I have another hard drive that we're going to put in here. So, uh, bear in mind, like I said, uh, you may have to find some other places to mount this and, uh, to really make this work. Um, if the power supply doesn't get too hot, um, possibility of uh, using double-sided tape or some other thing, mounting a, uh, a mount that that will fit into and putting it on top of that. So all kinds of different options here. None of them are really uh, the best though. So let me go ahead. Um, you have to take the cover off. So do that. You gotta make sure it's not sitting completely on the table. And we'll just pop those off like that. Now, um, I'm probably going to have to pause this because I do not have my tripod with me. And basically, like I said, this is going to plug in to that one. So let me do that and pause it. All right, so just so you can see, we've got that connected. Now we're going to start hooking up the hard drives. So I removed the uh, big fat one terabyte just to make this video look better. Um, we're not actually going to connect that one. And this is going to allow me to mount that right in there, if you can see that, um, and be able to use this cable. So this cable will work. Unfortunately, it does mean that the 2.5 inch cable is probably not going to be usable. And then I'm going to take the right angle one and connect it to my SSD that actually has the operating system on it. So let me do that. I'll pause it and then we'll, uh, I'll go over it with the, uh, the camera again. All right, so looking at the bottom of this, there are uh, two holes here. These two holes uh, will hold the hard drive in place. And I've got a uh, screw. We're going to put two screws in it. And I will secure it.
All right, folks, so this was a bit of a fail, but it's going to work. One screw holding that in, the bolt pattern does not match up. Now, you could uh, drill another hole in here. I am not wanting to screw up the, uh, the originality of this case, um, especially if I, I sell it. I don't like to doctor things up, but uh, we probably will eventually put a hole in there. Um, or, to be honest with you, what I have at the house is a um, mount that will hold multiple hard drives. And that mount is a uh, three and a half inch. So I'll probably be able to stack it here and still use this cable. Now, one thing we want to make sure we do is plug in our, our SATA um, connector. So I'll do that here. Then we're going to boot this up and you'll see uh, that the two hard drives work. Um, I would go ahead and attach the third hard drive because I do have the, the other SATA cable line around in here. Um, but uh, that's just getting kind of sloppy. I uh, guess I could do it. What the heck? It's not going to hurt anything, right? Alright, so I decided not to put that hard drive in there. Um, I didn't like the fact it was dangling over the um, motherboard. And so now we're, we're firing it up. And this is an SSD drive, so it should come up pretty quick. At least you would think. There we go. Okay, so. Yeah, this, uh, I hope this video helps somebody out. Uh, please like, please subscribe. I'll send you, I'll put some links down below some for some other cables that you might want to try. I don't know why I just clicked on that. Okay, here we go. So, we go to this PC, and there you see I have two hard drives. Um, I was hoping this was going to be a one terabyte, um, one terabyte, 2.5 inch, but it's only 500 gigs. And then there is my 240 gig SSD that has the operating system on it. So, I would say this was a uh, success, not perfect, uh, and I hopefully you understand a couple things to do to make it perfect. One, if you want to keep the three and a half inch drive in here, then you're going to have to uh, probably use a different cable um, than the one I'm I'm showing here, uh, one with uh, additional right angles to it, and uh, or you know you could uh, if you have a 2.5 inch uh, line around, you could do what I did and add an additional hole, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.